YouTube. Okay, that's Jeff's thing. Good morning, everybody. It is currently August 25th. We ordered couches back in July and they finally got here. So today we'll be doing an unboxing of our Wayfair order and a review on their service and how we thought everything went. What's the deal, YouTube? So today is currently August 25th. <laughs> Yeah, we'll give you guys uh, like a tour of the apartment once everything is set up. We just have the couch and then our table still in Lansing. And then after that, we'll give you guys a tour. But I'm excited for this couch because we've been waiting for it for so many days. But we'll tell you guys all about that. We're about to go get some food and then we're going to come back and unbox it. So see you guys when we get back. it's very comfy we struggled a little bit with some of the instructions but once we figured it out everything worked out so this is the front and then we go around to the back really nice we actually put on this piece if you can see that line right there and then these are like velcro pieces that come off I wish it was a little lower though because the Velcro doesn't, it kind of goes on the couch and on the Velcro part. So if it like was lower, do you think it's supposed to be upside down? But on this side, are you sure? And this one's supposed to be the other way? Okay, we're gonna, you know, configure some stuff. Oh, okay, so we had it right. So that's the only complaint for this section of the couch is that we'd have to lean the pillows down a little bit if, um, you know, that happened. Hey guys, here's an update on where I am. I've done those two right there. I just put them next to each other and clip them. And then this one, I'm working on this one. I want you guys to see like how it comes when I open it. So this is the bottom. And when I open the Velcro, everything is in here. So we got the pillows, the back piece for the couch, and all the screws. So this is the back piece that people rest their back on. And then this is the pillow that goes on the back piece. back in August and we have been we've had our couch four months four months so this is our review and our um, kind of thoughts on <laughs> on the situation like uh, just the whole process so babe what? hi everybody this is Royce you, we're gonna do a video soon about us getting him but the hey, newest hi, member to kicking it with the Cali's Roycey Royce Louis G. Callaway. <laughs> Big boy. Okay, so babe, what how did you think the process went of purchasing the couch, getting it here, and setting it up? Well starting from the starting from the beginning, it was it was stressful because we had originally planned for it to get delivered on a diff, a different day. 
but then we uh our apartment like switched our move-in day so we had to push the date back yeah. so when we pushed the date back we pushed it to what was it a weekend day right right because we moved in on a friday we pushed it to the next day because we didn't want the right. couch here the day we were moving all of our stuff so we, we had a uh, schedule for it to get delivered on the saturday after we moved in and the moving company it don't work on saturdays but wayfair still allowed us to change the delivery date to that date and you know we had never like they never told us anything about like you can't get delivered on the weekend nothing like that right i actually spoke to a representative on the phone so it wasn't like i did it online and they like let me like i spoke to someone and she was like oh, okay that's fine all right so that part was annoying and then um so Saturday comes, we stayed home all day. We could have been doing shopping for the apartment and stuff, but we wanted to stay and wait for Saturday the- Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, we wanted to stay for the- uh, Couch. Uh, the cops to get delivered and they never did. We calling all day Saturday, well like, probably like since like noon Saturday, calling all day Sunday, nothing. We called Monday and well, they gave us a delivery window. So they said, we're gonna deliver between 9 a.m. and like noon or something. So we were like, okay, let's just keep that time open. And when it didn't come, we just kind of like kept the day open the whole day. And then I called Wayfair and they were like, there's nothing we can do because we handed it off to our delivery partner, which was local people. And they weren't answering the phone until Monday morning. So then Monday morning comes, uh, we get a hold of somebody and they just pretty much saying like, I really don't know why Wayfair let y'all do that. We don't deliver on weekends. Uh, you know, our apologies, but that was Wayfair's fault, you know? So they were, then they were like, okay, we'll, we'll have them delivered first thing tomorrow morning and we will have the people come in and, you know, bring the um, couch up the stairs for you. They're not supposed to because of COVID or whatever, but he was like, we'll arrange it for that. So. You know, the delivery people will be prepared, masks, whatever. We had our masks on. Cool. The next day comes. They came early in the morning, but they didn't know. Like, they weren't told that they were supposed to bring the boxes upstairs. So, they were kind of confused. Um, and they didn't have a mask on or nothing like that. So, we were looking like, hey, man. It's like eight boxes, G. Like... Y'all need to bring these boxes up there, you feel me? We wasn't like that, but we was kind of just like, we're thinking that like, yo man has told me that you was bringing it up. So they didn't really have a problem. They brought them up. You know, we put our mask on and stayed out their way. They brought them all upstairs, cool. And then, you know, as y'all can see in the video, we put them, you know, put them all together or whatever. They work, um, I mean, they good. Before you get into the, the review of the couch, how difficult was assembling it? It wasn't how that are their hard. Instructions? It didn't have instructions, did it? It had that one paper, and it was like, this piece goes to this piece, but didn't tell us how to put it on. Yeah, I don't even remember. I don't read instructions anyway, so I don't really care, I but do. I don't remember them having, like, no instructions. Um, it wasn't that hard to put together, though. Like, you, it was only, like, one or two ways that pretty much every piece could get put on, mm -hmm. and... I don't know if you could tell in the video, but you can kind of put this together however you want to. Right. Like you could take pieces off and, you know, isolate them or whatever. So it was pretty much how we wanted the room set up at that point. But, um, yeah, it wasn't super terrible. It, it, it was, it was all right. Yeah, it wasn't a horrible setup. I think it took us maybe like an hour, hour and a half or something to like fully assemble it. And it wasn't like... It wasn't like a two person job, one person could have done it, but we kind of both did it to like expedite the process. Okay, so getting up to the review. What do you think of our couch after living with it for four months? Would you buy it again? All right, so I'm gonna say it looks like it looked in the pictures. The, the size we expected, um, it, it's, I like firm couches. It's not like hard, but it's firm. I like that about it. That's good. Um, as you can see, Roy's climbing all over. We don't got no rips or no, you know, mess. It's not messed up. It's a cloth car, um, couch, but it's not ripping or don't got no loose little strands coming out or nothing, even with him jumping all over it. Mm -hmm. um, the only thing that I say about it, and it might have something to do with about like how people sit on it, but the parts, the joints where they connect to each other, you know, I guess if you plop down too hard, it can slide like right like that you know what i'm saying so but like the things 
that make it connected like so there's like a prompt right so it does like this and it's like yeah. so it's like that and you click it in so if you like push if you're like sitting this part does it because it's against the wall but like over here if you're sitting too far back it might push that um that piece further yeah. back and i'll actually show you guys a video because this one's actually pushed further back than the rest and i'll just push it back in place yeah. but that's the only bad thing that about the couch and that's not horrible right. like i'm sure that we can get stronger connected pieces for the but couch. even then i mean like first of all let's talk about it you're not supposed to be plopping down on the couch like that anyway number one control your, yourself sitting down you don't, we don't want to you know break the wood piece back here nothing like that anyway so that's not a huge i'm not tripping on that and then like she said we can easily push it up and back however much we want so it's not it's not like it's broken or it's gonna be super difficult to you know move it back so i'm not tripping on that right. um and i definitely i mean yeah i would recommend buying uh, you know recommend this wayfair couch to somebody else i would buy it again right. probably in a different color just because just because I would want a new color, I am. Why would you buy the same color couch? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess. Anyway, we hope you guys enjoyed our video, our unboxing slash review video of our Wayfair sectional couch order. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you comment them down below. Yes, and let us know if you like this uh, home decor type um, video style. We are pretty um, artistic and hands-on with stuff, so we may you know uh record ourselves like we might restain the table or something like that you know we got art artsy stuff that we might do so if you're interested in that kind of thing let us know you know in the comments on our social media whatever and we might get some of that content out to you and um yeah don't forget to share the video with your friends um Hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell if you want to be notified when our videos upload. And as we always say, keep dreaming. If you don't have a dream to chase, you have no reason to move forward. Peace. Peace.